In today's video, we'll see how to replicate the sound effect for a coin collected, something like that old fashioned uh, Super Mario sound effect. Of course, the sound will be different since the original one is trademarked, so we'll build a sort of variation. Now, the first thing to do is create a meta sound. So, uh, right click under sounds, meta sound source and we can rename it as effects coin. Each time we receive the trigger on play, we want to generate a random number, an integer, so that we can map this value to MIDI notes. So we can use MIDI to frequency and we can send the out frequency to a square generator then we can select a minimum and maximum range for the integer generator. So let's say 70 and 80. Great. Now we need to generate an envelope. So let's use an AD envelope for audio that is triggered on play. The attack time should be very fast since we're uh, we want to recreate a percussive envelope. The decay time as well, let's say 0 0.2. And I want to leave attack curve and decay curve to linear. From here we can multiply the envelope by the square wave and send it to the output. Of course, the output on finished uh, can be connected to the on done of our envelope. So let's have a listen. If you remember correctly, the sound effect was a two tone. So we need to duplicate all this system. Let's move it down here. From the on play trigger, we connect a trigger delay. And let's say after 0 0.2 uh, seconds, send a trigger to the second random generator, this time from a minimum value of 81 and a maximum value of let's say 90. So if we have the first random at maximum value 80, and the second one at minimum value 81 will never experience a situation where we listen to identical sounds. Now from the trigger delay, we trigger the second AD envelope and here we can multiply the two signals as well. Make sure to take your uh, unfinished trigger out and connect it to the second envelope. We need to apply a mixer, a two channel mixer, where we can sum the two signals and send them straight through the output. I think that we can do the sound even more percussive. So the decay can be something like 0 0.15 for both envelopes. And of course, we need to adjust the delay. Great. If you want to add uh, a touch of 8 bit sound, you can apply a bit crusher at the end after the, the mixer. We don't want to do something extreme, we just want to add that grain texture to the sound. So let's use uh, a high sample rate, but a low uh, bit depth. It should sound pretty good now. <laughs> 